ಕರುಣಾರ್ಣವಮಾಯ್ ಕರುದಗ್ಗತಿ ನಲ್ಗು ಅರುಣಾಚಲ ಶಿವ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಅನೌನ್ಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಚಾನಲ್ ಬಟ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಸಕ್ಸೆಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಕ್ಸೆಸ್ ಇನ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಮೀನ್ ದ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಕ್ಸೆಸ್ ದಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ಲೈಕ್ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ಅ ನ್ಯೂ ಜಾಬ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಫೀಲ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅ ಸಕ್ಸೆಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ವಿನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಬಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಡಿಸ್ಕವರ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಜಾಬ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೌನ್ ಸ್ಲೈಡ್ಸ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ವಿಯರ್ಡ್ ಬಾಸ್ or the job turns out to be something other than was advertised or whatever or you get a nice new lover or friend or mate or wife or husband or something companion and it seems like success right but then something always happens you know there are always problems and in the end all those relationships are temporary No, I mean what means success of a person's whole life. And first I'll tell you the way I look at it. And then we'll look at some other ways that people look at the same thing and compare. My idea of success in life is to die, to leave the body in bliss. with no regrets and with full confidence of one's destination after this life that's my definition of success in life now what other people think about it is very different they think for example well let me let me use for an example the kids that i grew up with in suburban new jersey just outside of new york city most of them were i guess you would call it upper middle class they had a nice house they had a stable family situation they had uh lots of disposable income they had a rich full social life with many friends they went to first class colleges and universities they got great jobs right out of school they became executives they owned houses they owned multiple cars and kids and families and they had a very very rich full life huh they had maybe vacation homes maybe they traveled all over the world and this and that and this was considered success whereas i grew up in a very dysfunctional family and i had no friends nobody that i could count on really and i had ridiculously high iq and so nobody liked me because i was the kid who never had to study and was always right <laughs> plus to make it worse i was talented i could play music and so i grew up basically as a social pariah and of course i made some acquaintances in the music field and went to conservatory and all like that but where are those people now i haven't heard from them in years sometimes i try to look them up like on facebook but they don't reply so i don't know maybe they're dead maybe i don't know you know but Here's the thing. For example, those kids who grew up in stable families with a mother and father, grandfather, grandmother, all of the trappings of a nice home and all of that stuff. Where's that nice home today? Where are those grandparents and parents today? Likely they're gone. I'm 73 years old so the kids I grew up with are going to be around the same 72 to 74 and their grandparents and parents are likely dead or 
very close to it. Now, the problem with having a nice relationship in the material world is when it's over, the suffering is exactly the same as the amount of enjoyment when that relationship was happening. So yes, having a nice family, having good relationships, having a lot of friends, these things are all very pleasurable in the moment when they're happening. But when they go away, the amount of suffering is equal at least to the amount of enjoyment one experienced while having them. So looking back over my life, <laughs> where I didn't have a good family, I didn't have lots of friends, I didn't have, you know, like a lot of professional respect or a lot of uh, social standing. I didn't own houses and property, you know. I didn't make much money in my life. And so I was denied a lot of the opportunities that are usually offered to people of my intelligence and learning and ability. And I did marry a couple of times, but because of my financial and social status, I wasn't able to get qualified mates. And so those marriages didn't work out. I'm separated from my children. Huh? And my children have turned out completely different from me. We don't get along really at all. And then as I got older in life, even I had some disciples, so-called disciples. And they were just unqualified rascals. They organized against me. They tried to manipulate me into uh, letting them do illegal businesses in the name of having an ashram. I busted them. And because of that, they still, to this day, stalk me on the internet and give me trouble whenever they can. But, you know, it doesn't really affect me. And they get to take all my bad karma, which is very nice. Thank you so much. So, as I look back on my life, though, as one of my friends was telling me last night, uh, we were chatting, and he said, you know, you have stuck to the path, the spiritual path, your whole life. Whereas so many others come and go. They come and they fall down. And I said, you know, I didn't really have a choice. <laughs> With my family background and my social and economic status, I didn't really have anything to fall down to. And even though I tried to establish relationships, tried to establish families and businesses and so on, generally they failed. And from my point of view, the whole reason they failed was that the people did not recognize who I really am. They only saw me in terms of their desires and what they wanted. They didn't see what I was trying to do in my life. They couldn't see it, even though I tried to explain it to them. They couldn't get it. Or if they even got it, they didn't value it enough to say, oh, this is a worthy cause. I'm going to help you. So those relationships went by the by. And there was some suffering involved, but nothing compared to those who had successful families, so-called, and <laughs> successful relationships and kids that they love and who love them and so forth. Because when those relationships fail, oh, the suffering is like so intense. So if I look back on the whole thing and compare myself to people who always looked down on me and despised me and hated me and tormented me as much as they could, huh? I actually enjoyed better than they did because I didn't get all those things that are normally considered worldly success. <laughs> and I can look back on my life and say, maybe it's not perfect. Maybe I wasn't, you know, as great of a personality as I could have been if I had more support, 
more understanding, a better environment, and so on. But on the other hand, I didn't fall down. I did stick to the path. And I will stick to it to the very end because that's just who I am. I don't give up, I don't back down. Sometimes I retreat, but it's always to recoup my, myself, organize myself, and come back later even stronger. So this has been my life, and as I look back on my life, I really have no regrets. I did the best I could with what I was given, which, wasn't really very much as the world turns, you know. But it was enough that I could get myself a good education and then had the good fortune of meeting a great guru early in life and got to travel all over the world serving him and had so many experiences, rare experiences that very few people get to have in life. So I look back on my life thinking, wow, this is really a success. I have no regrets. I don't owe anybody anything. I'm not in debt. I'm not rich, but I'm comfortable. And I know how to make money. If I really wanted to make money, I could still make a lot of money, you know. But I don't need it. I don't want it. And I don't want all the complications that come with it. I certainly don't want to be famous and have people, you know, always trying to hit on me and get my attention and time and, you know, influence my life or my views or my behavior um, for their gain and try to, trying to use my fame for, to accomplish their objectives. No, thank you. I know some people who are famous, or I have known some people who are famous. I would not trade for anything because what they experience is not the kind of life that I want. I basically <laughs> just want to be left alone <laughs> because I'm really, really happy all by myself. It's when I get involved with other people and they have different purposes and different values and different views on things, usually not up to my standards. You know, that's when the trouble starts. And as soon as I disconnect from those people, then the trouble stops. So this is something I've observed over many, many years, and it seems to be a very stable premise a very, very uh, reliable value to estimate the kind of things that we can do or the kind of things I could do <laughs> that bring me satisfaction in life. So yes, I feel my life is successful. I feel justified after all these years because I was able to attain actually much more than I ever thought that I could attain spiritually. And I'm so grateful for that. I'm so grateful for Arunachala and Mother Durga and Lakshmi and all those who have given me blessings, all my gurus and even my enemies who helped me so much by their devotion to trying to hurt me <laughs> because it made me strong. So now about this channel, we're going to start having every Sunday a live Q&A and I'm going to post very soon, tonight or tomorrow, I'm going to post the schedule for that live Q&A. The first one is going to be scheduled for India and Australia. And then the next one, the next following week, is going to be scheduled for Europe and USA. I'm getting some additional equipment that will enable me to uh, still operate even at night. Whereas now I'm kind of restricted to daytime because of the lighting situation. So I'm going to get much improved lighting. The picture quality is going to be better. And I've already made improvement in the sound and so on. So we're going to be upgrading this channel. And there are other wonderful things coming, which I'm not quite ready to announce, but are still are in the works. 
and probably by the end of the month or early next month, I'll be able to make an announcement uh, that we are gearing up to provide much, much more and higher quality in terms of services for you, for your spiritual advancement, because that's what makes me happy. Huh? I've got everything I need and I've attained everything I could ever imagine and more. So what makes me happy now is making it possible for others to experience the same benefits and hopefully to speed their attainment of complete enlightenment. Aung Tat Sat. Aung Shakti Aung.